sir. I know, give me a second. You're not in shot here. I know. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, here. here we That's go. how we're going to do it. James here. And this is part of our Monster Hustle playlist where we go all over to uh, sales and find some cool things. So we're going to do a little haul video showing our flea market haul from uh, this morning. Yeah, this Sunday, uh, April 14th. April 14th, 2024. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... the day so... before our seventh wedding anniversary, which is tomorrow. Wow, seven years. Wow. Whoa. Is that good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> there you go, folks. An honest answer. <laughs> Seven years. True love. All right. So, okay. Like this thing. Like, what You're the? Kicking it off with that. I'm kicking it off with Starting this. Starting off hard. Look at those legs on her. Look at those beefy. <laughs> like Jeez. what the? Um. Ah. Yeah. So a Cabbage Patch phone. This is like probably the most hideous thing I bought today. Probably. <laughs> But then you you bought a phone yeah, also. Yeah, we, we, we went head to head with hideous. I gotta grab my stuff. Over yeah, there. it needs cleaned up. And I have to test it out to make sure it works. It's an old landline phone. You know, she's holding the. But you've sold those in the past. I I do, I do and I have and actually I sold a phone over the weekend, um, like an old desk phone. And you sold one recently that went. To, let's say it went to uh, the set of Law and Order. Criminal SVU. Intent, right? SVU. It was Law and Order SVU. Yeah, you sold that and a bunch of other 80s, like little. Yeah, but we're. Things. Yeah, show me the dinosaur phone. Okay, so you picked up this really cool T Rex phone, mm -hmm. and it has this secret little receiver thing. There's the earpiece, and then here's like you flip this up, and it's the, the dial pad there. It's kind of cute, it's like hidden under the rock. <laughs> and there's like a speaker under his butt. But yeah, I mean, if you ever needed a T-Rex phone, uh, it'll be available one day in James's store. <laughs> the next thing you picked up, this Coca-Cola phone. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. The buttons I... are on the bottom. Oh, wow. Yeah, the buttons are on the bottom there. I've never seen a Coca-Cola phone like that. Thank I guess you. it would hang on the wall. And it's got the, the cords dangle in there. Mm -hmm. That is sweet. And you're looking up things. And yeah, you looks like you picked up some yeah, movies. Go ahead and talk about your stuff. I just want to make sure that when I talk about this stuff, I have some information. And then, okay, this is a, I believe it to be a real Kate Spade bag. And I got that for $8. It, it's a leather bag. And it looks like it has the um, information in it. And like a chain, some type of chain. But it says Kate Spade, New York. Um, it looks like it's real. You know, it looks like it could be real here. And it has, you know, it says Kate Spade on the inside of the bag. It's like a purplish gray kind of leather. It's kind of different. Um, and this I got for 10 bucks, way cheaper than the thrift store. This is a coach leather bag. And it opens up with like this magnet thing. And it has these pockets and everything, and um, it has like a tag inside. It feels like real leather, so I think it's legit. Uh, I have to do more research on it, but it's a nice little bag, and it has this little, you know, these little tags too, the little coach tags. So, 10 bucks. Oh, excuse me, Louie. Louie the cat is um, off to the side here. Okay, and then this one is really cool. I think it's a decanter bottle. She kind of reminds me of Carmen Miranda with the fruit on her head. But, but the fruit has seen better days. It's a nice sculpt. Did you look that one up at all? I didn't look her up yet, but she's really, really cute. That could be I great. like her little earrings. It looks very like 1950s, but she's adorable. Um, so there's that lady. And then, um, you got this for me. Um, I'm gonna well, have to... I gave you the buck for it, but hey. Oh. Um, 
I have sold playing cards like this before, but with naked ladies. You gotta watch what you show. Um, yeah, I have to watch. So th this is one with um, this is one with uh, naked dudes. <laughs> well, more than that, it looks like they're trying to do things to themselves. Yeah. Um, I, I th it has other. It might be a little more detailed than that. A little more, yeah. Woo, <laughs> naughty. Um, and then I picked up. I think this one is for my fair lady. It's a Barbie doll, for three bucks. I don't know what she is worth out of the box, but she has her outfit complete. She even has her little shoes. Yes. And um, usually pieces are missing when they're out of the box, but she looks like she has everything. So I grabbed her for $3. Um, I also got this for $2. It's a wolf. It's like a, a wolf howling or a coyote howling at the moon. I didn't see that one yet. What it's a belt that? buckle. And on the back it says handcrafted USA. USA, USA. And it's got some numbers on the back. But I'm like, well, that's cool for $2. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could put that in my store. Maybe some some cowboy kind of person will want it. <laughs> Has that kind of cowboy look. You'd wear the big belt buckle with your jeans. Uh, but here's a Dooney and Burke bag. And it has the C logo. I think that's for the Cleveland Guardians. Or, or the or the Cubs. That's particularly a nasty person. <laughs> or for someone that's the C word. The C. That's what <laughs> it would be funny. Uh, but so yeah, garbage. there's a Dooney and Burke little purse. I got that for three bucks. I don't. Don't worry about it. Just Dooney and Burke purses I've sold before for decent money. So I I don't know what that one's worth. But I thought you know what let's let's try it. And then I did pick up some like uh, wind up watches, and I think some of them work. I got like three or four of these like ladies, um, well that focus, there it goes, little wind up watches. And then I did get some costume jewelry in here, like vintage necklaces. Um, they were like a buck a piece at this one nice person's table. And um, like this one's all copper. I think that's a copper necklace with some little gemstone. It looks like it's copper to me. Um, this one, I like the blingy on it. It looks like it's from West Germany from like the 60s. It's very detailed. So that's kind of cool. You know, grab little stuff like that, some, some retro necklaces. Some of them are marked, some are not, but I thought the style was cool for a dollar. I wanted to grab them. So I think that's everything I got here. Not too yeah, if you want to show some of your loot. And I can move over if you want to sit closer to the camera to show off your things. Sure. So James is going to show off his things to you. <laughs> I'm going to move over. Okay. Well, here's what I got today. My haul from the flea market. Um, one stop was like just a bunch of stuff. I think I spent 35 bucks. But uh, I was just looking up to see if any of this stuff for home runs or there's like, you know, for my th I'll definitely get my money back. That's for sure. Um, and then And then some. I bought a bunch of v, uh, DVDs, stuff like that. Um, see what this sucker looks like. It's gonna be. Um, oh, okay, brand new. Looks like these. Uh, this is the uh, in, uh, Star Trek Enterprise seasons one through three. Um, someone has. They're, they're listing them for like eighty bucks, uh, brand new, um, with free shipping. Let's see what the souls are. This is a little. This is what you should do, obviously, before you buy stuff, just to make sure you didn't buy junk. But, or something that's priced to where you can't make anything off of it. But, um, but I didn't because I knew the seal, this was good. So it looks like they sell for like anywhere between, uh, well, 30 for, for this used, okay, pre owned, but uh, up to 50 bucks, you know, brand new. So that's good. So I'll, this one set could make my money back from uh, just this one particular purchase from this one uh, vendor. But also from him, I got, uh, these like Sega Rem and Ram dolls. Rem and Ram, their names are. And these look like they go for about 20 a piece. I paid six a piece for those. But again, this is part of the whole $35 haul. This, these two things that once set a bunch of DVDs. Um, this is, uh, what is it, Escaflone? Uh, Escaflone. Set, Escaflone. It's an anime. Escaflone's um, <laughs> anime. Uh, this set could probably be like 20 bucks, you know, used. So that's not that bad. 
Um, there were some DVDs that were something, some that were not. Parsifal, I've heard of this movie before. This looks like it's like about a $30 to $40 uh, DVD set. So well, that's good. Some really weird ones. I knew right away that these were kind of different. The, the listings for these are kind of crazy. Well, this one's listed for like $80, but I think they sell used for about maybe $25 or $30 on a good day. It's still a good pickup, though, especially, you know, with the $35 I spent. Um, since I'll make it back probably on that one set. And then this um, the movie called The Warrior. This one's called, what, uh, Killing Car. But uh, any weird titles like this I know that aren't normal, these are the, the kind of stuff that usually does well. Whereas I would I would have thought something like WrestleMania might be good, but this is like a $5 set, so not so great. But again, I mean, it just adds up, uh, you know, as, as I go. Um, Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD, this is a trauma release. These are like 15 bucks, which is, again, not bad. And it's all said and done. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't think this goes for much, but it's sealed. The Marvel uh, TV series, uh, series one, or, uh, uh, season one. Samurai Jack DVDs is this season one? What is this? Season one. I don't know. Again, might not be much, but who knows? We'll see. Um, I have a version of Sergeant Kabuki Man on DVD, but Lloyd signed. Kaufman signed it. Yeah, what's it say on the back? Hot. Janet is hot, Lloyd oh. Kaufman. Oh, you got Lloyd Kaufman telling me. <laughs> so that one stays with my collection. This one, I don't know anything about, but again, if it's unusual and, and different, I usually pick it up on DVD or VHS. I thought it was Big Daddy Ross. It says, I was a teenage monster shirt painter. And it looks like Big Daddy Ross stuff, but it's not, you know, uh, frat fink. But um, this is the kind of weird stuff that I like to look, look for. I'm anxious, to, uh, curious to see what this is going to uh, pan out to be. Um, I also bought some doll stuff, you know, besides those Rem and Ram dolls. I got a Joey Lowen's doll. Whoa! This is three bucks. It looks like Whoa. they sell for 15 or 20. Not as much as I thought it would be, but, you know, in this beat up condition, you know, even if I get like 10 bucks, I get my, a little bit back. Um, but yeah, I'll probably try to sell this for 15. We'll see. Um, or just maybe give it to you. I don't know. I'll uh, buy it off you for three. Sold. Uh, what else did I get? Oh! Paper stuff, which is always fun for me, and some toys, some uh, pre uh, cereal premiums, which usually sell. I just sold a Trix premium uh, for ten bucks. I paid like a fifty cents for it, so ten bucks isn't bad. Um, in this bag, I think I paid. I forget what I paid for this bag. Uh, not much, but like maybe maybe a few bucks, like five bucks maybe. Um, this is still in the package. This is a sugar. Oh look at that. This still I didn't realize it was still a seal. Um, sugar crisp, sugar bear, uh, bike reflector, uh, for your bike spokes. That's kind of neat. That's got to be like 80s. Um, and then, uh, tricks flying saucers. Uh, looks like an older style of tricks. These could be like, um, late 60s, early 70s. I'm going to guess with the styling of the tricks rabbit here. Made in USA. Definitely not, uh, anything new. So that's kind of fun. Like I said, just sold some trick stuff. Um, it does sell. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, paper stuff. I said, what did I do with that? It was, uh, uh yeah. We got a Western Union Telegram. Janet found this in this pile of stuff that we got. That's kind of fun, right? We didn't even read it yet. Do we, should we read it? Oh. Sure. Let's see. There's other stuff in here. The Telegram usually is on this paper here. There's something else folded up in here. If you find this, you want a million dollars? What? Oh. Oh. A little note. This is some really crazy handwriting in there. But what's the Telegram say? It says... Ashland, Ohio, 7.30 p.m., February 21st, 1920. Over this 100 years ago. 104 years ago. 104 years ago? 104 years ago. Yeah, 104 years ago. Miss Dor Dorcas Will. It just it says 6222 South Ashland Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. Basketball games cannot come, love. Cannot come. Basketball games cannot come, love, JYP. JYP. GYP. Was that really worth sending a telegram for? Was that know. like an old school text, text. message? Yes, it's an old school Just text Just saying, message. oh, I can't make it to the basketball To refer, if you, yeah, yeah anybody that doesn't know what that is, yeah, that's like basically an old school text that you would send, you'd pay to send uh, to somebody. And I, this note's probably too hard for me to read. But, um, it might be written in shorthand. It's not. It looks like it, though, but it's cursive. It's just... Uh, very messy cursive. Very interesting cursive. I find here with my choice, abide, abide by such... Make no complaints. Here's hoping. Ditto yours so long. Tim really, it's really weird. It doesn't even make any sense. It says, there's something on the back. There. I guess it made sense to them back in the day. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, it's interesting. It is, but again, it's just a weird paper thing. All right. Um, some old photos, which are kind of neat. There's a little War One, uh, probably War War Two, um, passed by field press sensor. Like they probably was a military thing that they had to approve before they let it go, go out. It's kind of neat. Um, really funny postcard. Look at that thing. Like an old Smashing Pumpkins video or something. And it's got you know a little note on the back, which is fun. Um, this was sent uh, 1911, even older than that th in that wow. postcard. Yeah, reading. Dear niece and family, we received our Christmas box. It's just a nice little quaint little letter to somebody that got something. Uh, Janet also picked this guy out, Mr. Mustache. I liked Mr. Mustache. I thought he had a great style. Looks like a lot of hipsters now trying to look yeah. like old timey people. Well, and there was something written on the back of it. Yeah, what's it say? That I thought was really interesting. It said Uncle Joshua Fitzsimmons mm -hmm. buried at Mount Zion. Oh. Like someone put notes about their relative on the back. So that was someone's uncle back in the day. I wonder if this were, this is the guy. So he might be actually buried at Mount Zion. Where oh, yeah. It is, it, it, it's, it was, you know what that is? That's family notes. Probably was in a, a, in a uh, photo album or something. Probably. And then um, it looks like the photo studio was East Liverpool, Ohio. So we can look this up. It, it's on the bottom if you want to show it on the... Yeah. So, and it says on the back, too, East Liverpool, Ohio. Rest in peace, Mr. Uncle Mustache. Oh, he's been guy. resting in peace for a minute. Yeah, he's been gone a while. He's been gone, yeah. Oh. He got left that guy. Um, some other fun little paper things. I like stuff like this. Uh, but his mustache is immortalized on film. It's probably still on the skull, if there's a skull left. <laughs> oh. uh, Dilworth's coffee. It's like little postcard things you give to people, like little... It's interesting, stuff like that. Like um, an advertisement. Yeah, little advertisements. Or as they say in the UK, advertisement. Yeah, Irish. Uh, a picture card. A picture card. Each pack of Lion Coffee. Oh, these were. This was came in coffee. A so coffee card. It was a little coffee card with the corners nicked. But I don't know. Look those up. Those could be fun. Um, there's something cool coming up too. Another picture card. This I, I like that little artwork there too. That's really uh, cute. A picture card. Like Lion this Coffee. Pack. Lion Coffee must have been a thing. They had a couple little collection of them. This is kind of fun artwork. I can't wait to look up this art. Um, this um, artist, I think Lawson Wood is the name of the guy. Um, but it's kind of fun artwork on this little uh, notebook, this little calendar notebook. It's like a little monk, like a family of monkeys, boxers or something like that. Kind of, or weightlifters, some kind of weird thing going on there. But really neat artwork. And then this is a cool thing. Can't wait to look this guy up. Keith Magnu Magnuson. Um, looks like he was with the, uh, what do you call that? Um, oh, the, uh, what's, what's the African Monsters? Name? No, 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 no. This is older than that. One of the hockey teams. It's a Michigan team. It's a, uh. Wolverines? Uh, no, it's no, hockey. No, that's a football one. It's hockey. This is hockey. But I forget what the, I'm stupid. I'm not a sports well, guy. I hope he scored all the home runs. But it's a, definitely a sign. It's a really <laughs> cool signature. Um, those are always, those could be good. Especially vintage ones like that. Um, pretty neat. Um. It's not the red team. It's, I forget who it is. Sorry. I'm just a bad at, at this, at especially hockey. We're Ooh. not sports people. Like, we don't mind. Don't know what these are, but I'll have to look them up. We root for the home teams. Mini Viewmaster type of things. I thought I had some a couple other little things. And they're just tiny things. Probably not really worth showing. Here they are. A mystery cassette tape, which I like finding mystery tapes to add to our rotten or our rescued reels. Another addition to the room. It could be fun phone with. Phone messages are kind of funny sometimes that people leave on these things, or um, it could just be like from a little mini recorder, or there's nothing on it. So what we'll the find well, out. Speaking of that, I do have more films I have to scan. Yes, and there's a little Polly Pockets type of rubbery doll. It's kind of fun. Like I there found. I, am. I found these the other day when well, I was here. Yeah, yeah, here here at the home. Under your desk. When I was cleaning under my desk. And I forgot I had them under my desk. So yep. I will be scanning these in in the next week or so. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the haul. The phones are kind of fun. The dinosaur phone, the Coke phone. You can sit back over there. Okay, um, we can smoosh together here. Yeah, we're good. You sit right there. Okay. okay. And, uh, yeah, but I think we did okay today. I think I spent I spent under 100 but, you know, at 115 with me, so I don't even know what I had left. I honestly didn't count how much I spent. I know what I paid for everything, yeah, so I'm going to figure it out, but I don't think I spent much. I think it was like 60. under 50. So I'm definitely at 60 with the phones in that first haul, 65, and then 
It was probably like 80, 90 bucks I think I might have spent today. I yeah, and I don't know the value of any of these items yet. I didn't look anything up. I just kind of went by my well, gut. Well, the T-Rex phone we think is like what? Maybe 30 or 40. That might be between 30 and 40. So if, we spent you know, 30 for, well, I spent 40 for all the phones together. Yeah, the, the, this well, phone, you, you pitched in too. I don't know, may, maybe 30 to 50 range. Got to clean her up. But yeah, she needs cleaned up. She's wow. seen better days. What a phone, huh? But, I mean, she's just so weird. The back of those legs kill me. Did you see so the back of those legs? So weird and, and, and just freaky. So that. funny. <laughs> like, who needed all these phones? Someone had a phone collection. Apparently, yeah. There was a Shamu, like a, like a killer whale one, too, we passed Yeah, on. there were other phones, too, that we didn't buy, but we, we bought, like, a few of them. This so. Coke phone could be good. I don't know. But, uh, we'll thank find you. out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our Monster Hustle haul video today. And now that the weather is starting to warm up and we're getting out more, we're not going to video everything, but you know, we'll be able to show some of the hauls and, and talk about some of our adventures. Yes, you can share in our spoils and see what we got, uh, or in our booty. You get to view our booty. You get to look at our booties. What's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah, so get out there and thrift uh, and find some cool treasures and uh, start your own YouTube channel. Have fun with it. Yeah, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, you can subscribe to the channel. We also have a channel membership where we put out exclusive videos just for the channel members. Sometimes it's like weird stuff we find off of VHS tapes, like retro commercials. We're watching one right now. Sometimes it's like behind the scenes stuff. You mm -hmm. never know. And it's only $2.99. Yep. And again, do your own thing. Start your own channel because we'd like to see your booty. Yeah. Show just off saying. your booty on YouTube. Yeah. Who would want to see that? There you go. All right. Thank you, guys. See ya.